I think I just blew the breaker. At least that's what it seems like. I'm gonna flip the switch and see if I can get it to go. If not, I gotta go find my hubby. Ta-da! So, I did, I blew a breaker. I flipped up, and now my, my heat's coming on. So, that's helpful when it's this flipping cold outside, see? Yeah. You wanna go back out? Okay, you go back out. Back to the bed. Back to cutting. Oh, the heat. Listen to that, guys. I'm so, so grateful for this garage. because I didn't want to pay the same amount for the legs that I did just to build the whole bed. So I just had scrap two by fours from this project and I had enough to cut them directly right in half um, and put them on and they worked out pretty well. I like the height. I just vacuumed this room and there was enough room underneath of it to actually get the vacuum under, which was awesome. Um, another thing to note and to mention is the length of the frame. So in this tutorial, she did not mention that she made it to fit just the mattress. Um, it actually, when I put the box spring on, wouldn't fit. So that was my mistake. I didn't measure. I just took what she had um, and went with it because I assumed, well, if she's done it, all mattresses are the same. Mattresses aren't the same. So that was mistake number one is that I didn't measure my mattress. So right now, I just have the mattress on there and the box spring is gonna have to go because it doesn't fit. And honestly, I didn't wanna take it all apart and have to try to rebuild it just to fit the box spring. And I liked the height that it was at with just the mattress. So that was mistake number one. So if you watch the video all the way to the end, then I would definitely, at the beginning of your project, measure your box spring and don't follow the measurements in her tutorial to a T, unless you are just using the mattress. Mistake number two, and I don't really want to call it a mistake because 
I don't believe that it was a mistake. She just wasn't very clear on how she attached the sides. So my interpretation is that she ran them flush with the inside on all four corners. But when I pushed it up against this back wall here and this side wall here, it stuck out about this much, which may or may not drive you insane. It drove me insane because I like things pushed up as much as they can so that no one rolls into the little crevice between the bed and the wall. So my husband was able to kind of modify it so that it could be pushed up against the wall and actually on the one side, we actually removed this completely just so that it was a little bit more flush because that kind of drove me insane. So take into account when you're where you're placing your bed so that doesn't happen to you. So when all is said and done, I have to say I absolutely love this bed. I love the stain color that I was able to achieve. I love that I could do it in one day and I didn't need any help from my husband. And I love that the tools were minimal because I don't always know how to use all the tools in some of the tutorials. Some of them are a lot bigger than I've ever used. So this one was very simple. It was just basic tools, basic frame, and I think almost anybody could do it. So I'm happy with the end result. I love this bed. And it's actually inspired me to build some more beds. So I think I might have a queen size bed in my future and perhaps a set of bunk beds because, come on, who didn't love that sting? It's beautiful. So I hope you guys really liked this video. I hope you liked the tutorial. I tried to lay it out as best as I could. Again, there's the link in the description um, from where I found the original tutorial that is written out. Um, take a look at that if you're gonna build this. And remember to measure before you start putting things together and cutting. <laughs> that old saying of measure twice, cut once is very, very true. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you built this bed. I would love to see how yours turned out. And subscribe. If you like this video, maybe I'll do some more. So let me know in the comments below. Bye.